Wow. How was your weekend, dude? Uh, I went to Whole Foods last night with cum on my t-shirt. <laughs> Hold up, I'm hard. Brea, California. Trevor Wallace is going to be in your city for two nights, Friday, Saturday, May 12th and May 13th, four shows. In San Jose, I'm coming back to the Bay Area, oh! my college stomping ground, San Jose. We're going to fucking have a rage at the Fright House after. June 2nd through June 4th, that's five shows. June 2nd through 4th, San Jose, California. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. Michael Blaustein, where are you going to be? Des Moines, Iowa, May 5th through the 6th. I'll be in Omaha, Nebraska, May 19th to the 20th. I'll be in Toledo, Ohio, June 2nd to the 3rd. I'll be in San Francisco, California, June 23rd to the 24th. Washington, D.C., those tickets are freaking going, so go grab them before you can't. July 6th through the 9th. Listen, last one I'll plug, and all the other ones are on my on my uh, website. The last one I'll plug is Boston Boston, Boston, Wilbur Theater, October 21st. Um, the room is already about 75% sold out. So go get tickets before you cannot. This is the biggest theater ever done. I love you. Go support us. Go on TrevorWallace.com to grab his tickets. Go on BlockComedy.com to grab my tickets. Go, go, go. Boop, boop, boop. Let's do a podcast. Let's Three, do two, it. one. We're in. We're, we're in. back. We're in. We're in. I'm gonna How, do. What, what? Go, ahead. go. No, you talk. No, you sound <laughs> fired up. I'm fired up, baby. Fired up, dude. My goddamn. First of all, Richmond shows. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Shows were so fun. Um, travel back from Richmond. Yes. An absolute nightmare. Ask me if I just got back in town right now. Well, did you? Just yes. Get, I know it's, you did. It, yeah, we're recording this at like four in the morning. It is five p.m. right now. Yeah. You guys don't know this, but generally we record around noon. Yeah. I was supposed to get in yesterday at about 10.30 p.m. A lot of times. So many times. I apologize. Just bear <laughs> with me. Come on this goddamn journey with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I got to the airport. Also, by the way, you got to check out Airbnbs early. We all know this. 11 a.m. Yep. But Give sometimes they're really nice. They go, hey, man, you, you, yeah, you got a late flight. Stay until your flight. This one, fuck no. On schedule. Get out. 11 a.m. Yeah. Also, who's filling in right after you in Richmond, Virginia to be like, get him out. <clears throat> I will say. We dude, got a whole week. So here's what it is. I had to be at 11 because the cleaning people had to come clean for the next person. But they said they were nice to me. They go, hey, you can leave your luggage here until 2. Mm. said, that's nice. I can go with Captain G, the American. I go get a coffee. Hang out, post some clips, come back, get my shit. I came back, got my bag, and there was a woman mulching. Beat? Oh. Hold on. Wait, mulching? Mulching. What is that? Oh, wood, down wood the, chips? Uh, no. You know, like, you know, there's like- Mulch uh, is wood chips. I think, uh, so, I think so too, Trevor. I love when I look at Gabe and Gabe's on my side. <laughs> Jack's over there playing miniclips.com <laughs> in his own fucking world. <laughs> Playing the helicopter game? <laughs> I mean, maximum mulch. here. What is mulch? Mulch. Okay. <clears throat> you ever look at it like Sounds like you go down on a British girl. Munch. Hey. Here's the thing. It's called Stiff Socks. It's a dumb podcast. It's not dumb. I'm dumb. We're full of scientists. And semen. And You're semen. You're full of scientists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in what way? Dude, having a Bill scientist girlfriend. was in your thighs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, dude, having a scientist girlfriend would be hot. A scientist girlfriend? Yeah, make her just are you kidding me? Make her with a lab coat, come in a beaker. Are you be so fun? Lab coat is a Bunsen hot. burner shirt up your ass? Bunsen burner burger. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> uh, neither. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. On yourself? On myself. Damn. All right, Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. So I come back. Gotta be a connected flight. Gotta be a connected flight. 100%. I'm skipping steps. You come back. There's come a lady back. mulching. There's a lady mulching. Which we don't know what that means. You're putting down, uh, you, you ever seen like a really uh, garden that's just been done? Like a pristine garden that's just been- Mulch. Mulch. It's the, the brown stuff right underneath yeah. like the tree or whatever, like all the brown stuff, yeah, right? so cheap Airbnb. Correct. No. <laughs> so expensive. All right, anyways. <laughs> so, she's mulching. Gigi's obviously losing her mind. And I, I assume that it's the cleaning service. She picks her head up, turn around, <laughs> bad. I'm talking about bad, dude. She, she. First of all, she had her shoes off. Let's start there. To she was mulch? mulching. Yeah. Like, How nice is it in Richmond right now, where you're like, let me get off these Asics before I mulch, dude. If you go, if, <laughs> if you go, I stayed in the, the museum district of Richmond. What the fuck, a whole district of museums. Yeah, there's too many museums, but it is a district of museums. It is so nice there, dude. It was like a. It was so nice that it just. It really felt like a movie. You ever walk on like a movie set? And it just it just looks fake, like it. The whole neighborhood looks fake. To me. Yeah, it was like a. It, I it's like Richmond. It's probably here, an AIC. Yes, dude. Yes. Look, look at that. Wow. It looked it looked fake to me. That's cool. Anyway, so so she turns around. She is so attractive. Yeah. And she had mulchy feet. 
It was so hot. <laughs> what does multi feet look like? A picture of feet look like Groot. Uh, it's just like dirty feet. Just Thanks, dirty Jack. feet. Dirty feet. Yeah, it was hot. Dirty I, feet. Clean it off. Orbits. My mouth. Yeah. Do you like dirty feet? No. I feel like there's an appeal to it. Nope. Kind of like, what, what if, what's under there? It's like seeing a man in, in uniform. See a firefighter with a little bit of sod on him. What is it? Sod? sod, Not sod. Nope. You know what I'm talking about? Smoke? Sit. Soot. Soot. <laughs> Damn, Gabe's on it today. Gabe, you're on it. Maybe we should record later. I feel dumber, but Gabe's on it. Gabe's on it. Yeah, I'm feeling real 5 p.m., it's like a weird time to be like fired up. I'm, I'm like I'm sitting fired. in traffic, people are yawning. Up. Oh, it took well, me. yeah, because your flight got canceled nine times. Oh, I didn't, so let me get to the story. Yeah, Whatever. Fuck mulch. this mulch. She's no, hot. No, we'll get it. No, no, no. But it was hot enough for me to. Anyway, she was the owner of the goddamn uh, uh, property, oh! by the way. Yes. So she looked up at me. She goes, "Oh, you're gonna come get your bags?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I was, I was gonna be like, I was gonna chop it up, but then I heard someone mowing in the back. Took a little gander. Dude was jacked. Six three, fucking huge, pushing a mower with like one arm. Her husband. So I didn't say anything. Got the bags, <laughs> left. Okay? And then I finally got to the fucking airport. Okay? So I've been homeless since 11 a.m. Well, so what did mulch have to do with anything? I just remembered that I saw the love of my life mulching. And I wanted to know if you ever seen a dirty woman that you wanted to beat in fucking... <laughs> Sexually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not... <laughs> we got it! <laughs> So, I get to the fucking airport early, mm -hmm. obviously. What my time flight, are we talking? I got to the airport at like 2.45. My flight didn't take off till like 6. God damn. You don't know I, that dad shit. I ain't know. Where am I going to go? I don't have anywhere to go. A museum. With Gigi and 12 bags. Too much shit. Yeah. I get to the airport watching basketball. I'm having, it's the longest day of my life. I get to the fucking terminal. Yeah. They go, hey, guess what? Flight's going to be delayed by three and a half hours. You know what that does to daddy do? Can't make my fucking connecting. So you know what I got to do? Stay in Richmond. Stay in Richmond. Yeah. I had to stay in Richmond. I am Did losing. they pay for it or anything? Oh, they made, they allowed me to move my flight, obviously. But like, they didn't charge that. But here's where, here's where the, every, my entire life goes awry. Yeah. So I'm losing my mind. And I go, Michael, shut up. You just get on a really early flight. You'll make it to the podcast. How's your it's attitude fine. at this point? Have you yelled at anyone? Is no, no, I'm good. I'm, I actually, wow. I, I'm actually handing it pretty well. Damn. So, Mulch working on you. I'm saying. So I went to the front desk and the gentleman goes, yes, not a problem. We will cover your hotel and a meal voucher. I go, Ooh, all right, daddy. Uh, okay, daddy. I'm eating a Bugatti tonight, bitch. So, so I, get, I, I call the shuttle service. They pick me up. I get to the hotel. It's a little ratty, but what can you do? It's free. So I go to the front desk. I go, yes, man, I'd like to check in. She goes, your reservation's not here. I say, oh, yeah, that's hilarious. Where is it? She goes, not here. You're there not here. Go. You don't have a reservation. There's I go, here's Papa a reservation Blast code. Oh, it's in. coming out. Yeah. She goes, the reservation code. I can't even put it in because there's letters and we only do numbers. And I go, okay, well, what do you want me to do now? She goes, I couldn't even give you a room if I wanted to because there is no fucking rooms. Who is going to this much of Richmond? I do not know, but there was no rooms in the end. I felt like Jesus Christ, okay? This is on a Sunday night too in Richmond? Sunday night in fucking Richmond, okay? No, and then the, the thing that was irritating me was she was giving me no options. She goes, I don't know what to tell you. We don't have any rooms and this doesn't work. I go, okay, well, what... A, what am I supposed to do now? She goes, I don't know. Call the airlines. When she hit me with the, I don't oh, know. Damn. She moved the, I don't know. The airlines? The airlines. 1-800, the airlines. Hello? You're <clears throat> fucked. A dunk. 100%. And then I go, fine. I'll call American. Hour Did and 15 minute wait to even talk to a person. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? I have 12 bags. I have a goddamn Captain America. I'm in lobby of some random hotel in goddamn Richmond. I'm going to sit here for an hour and 15 minutes. So then I'm like, all right. I talked to a shuttle guy. I go, can you please just take me back to the airport? Back? Buddy, because it would take me shorter time to just talk to someone at the airport than wait an hour and 15 minutes in a fucking lobby. Wow. So he goes, are you okay? And I go, no. <clears throat> and by the way, 45 minutes earlier, this guy picked me up. He was on the phone. This is, I'm not making this up. He was on the phone, not paying attention to anyone. Didn't help with anyone's bags. On the phone with somebody screaming. He goes, motherfucker, I have killed people and I got less jail time than what you got. Is what he said to a van full of, I bet there were like 20 what people What if you looked van. over and he was just on better help? Just trying to help somebody. <laughs> he was talking.
talking to his friend, yelling about how he murdered somebody. So I am good. I don't want to talk to this man. So whatever. So we'll go back. So 45 minutes. So, so then I go to this shuttle guy, the guy that literally just murdered someone. I go, and he goes, you okay? And I go, no. Fill him in on everything. He goes, well, listen, man, there's a Marriott right up the street. Maybe they're connected. Maybe, they're, maybe they have the same system. Maybe we can get you a room there. I go, all right, man, sounds good. Takes me that one. This woman is so much nicer. Yeah. The, the fucking code doesn't work again. She goes, the only thing I can do for you is I can give you a room for a discounted rate. I go, so let me get this straight. So you cancel my flight and then I got to pay for a hotel? Yeah. She goes, I'm sorry, this is all I can do. So I say, swipe it. So I get in the fucking hotel, you know, order fucking DoorDash. And when I said DoorDash, what I are we mean, talking? Um, Out back. Nope. <laughs> Throat mates. <laughs> Better. Throat mates. Throat mates. Title. So, very much title. Wait, hold <laughs> so up. I'm chilling. I'm watching basketball, whatever. She comes Where's... over. I do a little go to Hoomst. sleep. Huh? Whomst? You know. Some ladies that I met in Richmond a couple of days ago. Yeah, like, yo, slide through. I'm at the Marriott. That's literally exactly what I said. Yeah. Housekeeping. And I said, you may enter. Yeah. These towels are already dirty. God, God damn. damn. So, so let me so okay. the flight got delayed, but you got laid. Facts. Factual. <clears throat> okay. Not done it's yet. It's not bad. I'm down to get a fucking delayed flight tonight. <sighs> not done yet. God damn. You ever watch the show Fear Factor? Yep. Take away the fear. I got Factor. Honestly, it's a meal kit. They send it. It's not even a meal kit. Honestly, <laughs> dude, this is one of the ads where I tried the product and yep. I like fell in love with it. I had one meal. They sent you a meal, right? It's pre-cooked and everything. And I'm a gluten-free little bitch. They it, sent it to me. Uh -oh. They have fusellini pasta with chicken huh? put and veggies, which is something I need more of. And but... <laughs> Dude, you throw the microwave for two minutes, you hit 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, dumb, 30 dumb, and you're in. Dumb. And dude, it like honestly, so good. It is so good and so fast. It literally, it's everything's like fresh, dude. And here's the thing. Everybody's too busy to cook. Too okay? busy. What are we going to do? Dude. What are we going to cook? No. It's everything that you need when you're in the middle of the day. You throw it in for two minutes, you eat, and the start to finish is so it's so quick. This is what we always talk about. We're like, Dad, we just want a pill to not yes. be. This is essentially what it is, but it's an but it's an insanely incredible meal. Dude, they sent me one of those like ground beef with some spices and like rice and beans. And I like, that was the first one I had out of the kit. And I was like, this is for real good. For real good. You know what it reminds me of too? Is it, it's very, like, I want, I always want takeout because takeout's like, it, it, it's, it's way better than making a peanut butter sandwich. This is essentially takeout. Yeah. But two minutes in the microwave. So they send it to you. You can pick how many meals you want per week, whatever it is. They come with like little shakes on it too. Yeah, so the shakes one, are so one good. Right there. Yeah. Um, so look, if you want to check this out too, head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code socks50 at factormeals.com slash socks50 to get 50% off your first box. Socks50. God damn. I'm not done yet. So I get on the flight this morning. What time was your flight this morning? Uh, eight. Okay. Eight in the morning. Want to kill myself? So, Gigi, I will say they bumped me to first class. Hey! Yeah. But I will. No, say, what? Hold on. No, no, no. You got fucking throated capital T and a first class? I'll tell you the difference, though. I mean, dude, what do you. What, this is a spider. Where? Ah! Oh, ah! <laughs> I don't know how you you. My mom would be so mad. I just did that. Brave and terrified at the same time. I think the word is dumb. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> well, there a was a small spider in the whole world. Yeah, but the, it'll grow. It will grow. You not seen anymore. Spider Man? You killed it. Sorry. Yeah, my mom will collect spiders in a cup and put it outside. My mom does the same thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, mom. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, didn't. spider. I didn't mean to do that. Chakras. <laughs> do you really care? Uh, yeah. Dude, there, there's a crack in my door at home, and roly polies just be darting inside. And they, for the second they get inside, they all die. So I just now when I see one crawling around alive, I take them outside so, yeah, yeah. and then I put them in the bush. But yeah. I walk up just in the mornings, there's four of them. Just it is, it is funny though that like we do care a lot about animals, <clears throat> but I don't give a fuck shit about a fly or a chicken. I'll kill a chicken. I ate chicken today. I, I ate chi I, me chicken too. two different times today. Yeah. You had some breasts last night. Pits! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so what's going on? You got a so first class I, first flight class, bumped up. So in a sense, you got bumped up. Yep. You pay for the room. You yep. bumped up first class. Yep. 
Yep. I try to get Gigi underneath the seat. It doesn't fit. This woman's freaking out at me. Well, hold on. Because she's fat? No. <laughs> because the goddamn bag is not big enough to fit underneath uh, underneath the first class thing. This woman's literally being like, he has to go under. I, again, I go, it doesn't fit. It's a dog. What do you want me to do? I'm losing my mind. This, this, is, not, this is not a good Michael. Yeah. I have no sleep. I just want to get fucking home. So we have a little back and forth, whatever. It finally goes underneath. I land back in LA. My luggage is gone. Did you hear what I said? My luggage, my fucking bag that I checked is gone. I land, I get an email that says, we're sorry, we can't find your luggage. We'll find it in the next 24 to 48 hours and mail it to you. I go, all right, I'm fucking heated. I go to the customer service person. I go, what am I supposed to do with this? She goes, she goes, hit the link, put the address in, and it will mail it to you. <clears throat> I go, okay, there's not a ton of shit in that bag. It's, it's not a big deal, whatever. So I'm leaving. A rat, I'm not making any of this up. A rat runs in front of Gigi, she eats it. No, she, she fucking loses her mind. Everyone's freaking out. Is that we, at the airport? At the airport. What airline? Spirit? No, it was American. American. It was American. So we had, so whatever. I'm just painting a picture of everything that could possibly go wrong is like a fucking splinter. Uh, uh, it was like yeah. a little small. He's looking Gigi. for his luggage. That, Where'd you put my cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Do rats be loving cheese like that? I think we just made that up. Thought they were into pizza. Dude, that's crazy. Mouse traps, they put like a fake piece of cheese on there. Dude, imagine how hungry you are. You're like, damn. Craft? Have, <laughs> have you guys ever had to do like use one of the like a real fucking mouse Yeah, I've used it in when I lived in Harlem. It's, it's really it's up. really fucked yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. My dad would do them in the garage. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's like the cleaning it up. And the worst part is when you have to eat it. That's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> but what's worse, that or the sticky one where they gotta post up for hours? I I, I'd rather that, want the sticky one, dude. Well, in terms of like my cleanup, I would rather have the sticky one. But in terms of the rat, like probably the fucking quick one's better, right? The, yeah, like the probably for one. the rat is probably none of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I would still put a piece of food on the sticky one so maybe he could eat while he posts up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's stuck up. <laughs> I feel bad. But wh how come he's stuck on it? Why don't we just get the trap and then de-stuck him? Because they usually do it in the middle of the night. Right. And they die that quick? I guess. How are you going to die, what, six hours? They just flex all their muscles and just, ah, because they usually shit themselves. Do they get real thirsty? Do rats drink water? <laughs> think about a rat drinking water. Do rats have tongues? Like, think yeah. about all of that. Mm -hmm. Do rats fuck? What position? <laughs> are, there any, are there any animals that do different positions? I think so. Like dolphins just be like, nah, get in dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do they switch it up? Um, I would say so. To to finish the story off, the worst two days of my life. Um, I am in the Uber headed home, and I get a call from American Airlines, and they say your luggage is here. I say, oh, okay, well I'm not there anymore. Can you just mail it to me? They go, uh, well you filled out a delay form, and I was like, what do you what do you mean? I didn't fill out a delay form. And she goes, yeah, you do. So your luggage is here. You're gonna have to come back to L.A. and get it. L.A.X. and get it. I go, I, I was like. N no figure out how to mail it back to me right now and then she's like you have to talk to my manager waited 45 minutes finally got a fucking manager the manager's like okay we can mail it back to you guys they always can they always can yeah. i i just it's just it's i here's the thing i'm i feel actually lucky that the amount that i travel a situation one hasn't happened like this that's problem after problem after problem after problem. It's like one in problem. ten you, you get one of those just travel days. It's just everything's fucked. Everything's fucked. And it hits a certain point where you go, of course. Where something good yeah. happens, you go, right, but what's next? Mm -hmm. I dropped yeah. my sunglasses right in front of my, and I was like, there you go. Another one. Yep. Broken. They didn't broken. Break it. No, they didn't break at all. Yeah, yeah. But, but you have, you're in that mode. It's so bad. Wrong. Yeah, it just keeps getting delayed 30 minutes and you're like, good. Perfect. Oh, love it. I love these seats at LAX. What God. are these made out of? Microfiber glass? Yeah, what the hell? You ever take a sleep on on a on the floor of a no? A I don't. I've, been, oh. I've never been down that bad. Oh, I'll be sleeping. Really? Yeah. When there's like a delay. Good view for feet. That's a good goddamn point. So you get back today, and then they're gonna mail you your bag. Yeah, but it's not gonna come. So you ever gonna do shows in Richmond ever again? I mean, the people were great. Yeah, dude, the women. Richmond. The Richmond women. Am I, I was, sleeping on I, Richmond? Dude, I was telling Gabe about this. Every lady there 
not every, that's crazy, but a good percentage of the ladies there were like right up my alley. They had all these like, they were like kind of grungy, emo-y mm. type of women. All these tattoos. Like everyone was that. It was like Williamsburg, but like times 10. Ooh. Like the amount of people. Yeah. It was, and and I asked uh, someone why, and VCU has, is right there and has like a really, really uh, like prestigious art school. Ooh, art yes. school be do having. Dog. Yeah, oh. What is that? I don't know. But everywhere you turn. Dude, I used to, when I worked in downtown, uh, to get lunch, we'd always walk past Fitum and, I mean, good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. I mean, what is that? Yeah. How do I turn myself into a needle? Please use me. Use me. I'm ink. Thread me. My penis is ink. Draw with me. Yes. Work me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. How was your weekend, dude? Uh, I went to Whole Foods last night with cum on my t-shirt. <laughs> Hold up. I'm hard. <laughs> <laughs> what dude? dude i'm fucking at whole foods getting some shit and you know when you're waiting you just don't know what to do with your hands yep. i fucking check my phone like nine times the lady ahead of me is using coupons and then the lady uh in between us has her daughter trying to pay and i'm like this is not the time to learn she can learn on an app how old is she the daughter yeah oh like kid kid seven i don't oh. know she's like here get, give her the credit card no, no. move mm -mm. move you got an llc done get out so, I mean, it's just, I'm waiting and I have my phone in my right hand and I just start scratching kind of my ribs and it is, it's like wet, cool. not wet, but like there's a spot on my shirt and I go, this is crunchy. Is it, this underneath, is a, is it underneath a jacket? No, t-shirt. Oh, fuck. I'm nutted up at Whole Foods. Was this a nut from a, a little jerk sesh or like a beat sesh? I think it was a jerk sesh. Why is your shirt still on? No, you I came your, into it. Do you jerk with your shirt on? Yeah, like Winnie the Pooh. Do no, you? I, you do, don't you? See, I'll, I'll jerk off wearing full clothes. Yeah, I do not take my shirt off to jerk off. Dude. Is that weird? What do you, you look at? You get naked? You get fully <laughs> naked? Uh, yeah. To jerk off? <laughs> yeah. Dude, listen. <laughs> That's listen, too... Listen uh, to this. What if somebody breaks some, in the house? Sometimes... Who's at my house? I'm lonely. <laughs> uh, Listen to this. Sometimes I'll put a heater on. Like, you know, one of them space heaters, I'll bring it into the office. <laughs> <laughs> it's not already in there? No, nah, sometimes not. That's crazy. I get a little cold. That's why I wear clothes. Is it? I mean, I jerk off like I'm going to a coin store. I walk over, I dump a load and keep my day. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Do you put your pee-pee through, like, jeans? No. So... Yeah, Hold you on. kind of put a, pull them down a little bit and then you, your yeah. balls kind of like come up out of yeah. Oh, well, you jerk off like that because you're scared your girl's going to fucking come home. She might. You never know. Then, but when I would live with someone, that's what I would use. I used yeah. to do that. Like, Jerking off when you have a girlfriend's hilarious. God, it's so funny. Like, I'm going to go take a shower without running water. God. But even that, even that, like I never, the next girl I get, I need to establish that I lock a, the bathroom door. Because if you don't establish that, then it's like weird when you lock the bathroom door. Right. But I need just to put a sign on your door that says jerking off. Yeah. Every time I put a sock or just walk out and be like, I'm going to beat it. I need a woman that understands that there's a difference between fucking and beating it off. It's a different thing. There's no connection. There's no connection. Yeah. This is for my productivity. Yes. I'm tired of looking at BBLs on Instagram. I need taxes. I need to get it out. Yeah. And I did. God damn. Gentlemen, 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 if you didn't already know, it's freaking tax season, okay? It's here. Make sure you spend your tax return money on the right important things this year. Family, friends, ball deodorant, join the 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped TM, trademark, by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code STIFF. It's not just a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer with an LED light, okay? You're missing your keys, you can use that. Shave your asshole. Let me tell you something. My balls always look pristine like a rich person hedges all the time. But it's Whoa. not just that, dude. They got freaking, what do they got? They got a Weed Whacker 2.0 for your ear and your nose, hair trimmings, okay? They got uh, skin safe technology, and they got boxers. I honestly, I'm wearing boxers right now that hold my balls in. They, they give me a bulge. Mm -hmm. I don't got a bulge, yeah. but they give me a They're bulge. comfortable. So comfortable, dude. Um, we do have everything. I mean, just literally, fellas or ladies, you're buying for your man or man's is. No matter how many you have, go and just go to manscaped.com and just see what type of stuff they have. It's an insane spread. Get twenty percent off plus free shipping with code stiff at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off plus free shipping with code stiff at manscaped.com. God damn. So I think so. This was direct on a shirt, I believe. So what I did is I probably like, couldn't fall asleep, and I was like, oh god, I wonder what's going to happen now. Probably grabbed a t-shirt out of the hamper. 
blast it off into it. You blast what? it off in. I know, dude. Jack. I'll grab anything. I know, what dude. Are you, what's wrong with that? <laughs> why? But it was why a shitty white T-shirt. Who gives just, a fuck? Why don't you just let it hit your body? That's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It feels good. You feel like you established something. No. Yeah, you're establishing dominance. No, what, dominating yourself. Yes, that makes you, it makes me fucking come harder. Yeah, take that, you bad boy. I'll talk to myself. Yeah. 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 But you jerk off into a t-shirt. Yeah. And then I probably just threw the t-shirt and then like was doing laundry one day and I was like, oh, I don't remember wearing this t-shirt. Yeah, because I came in it. Oh, damn. And then so I was scratching right here and it was pretty, it's nutted up. What did you do? Laughed put a little bit. bananas over it or something? Yeah, it didn't taste like it. So we're good. Sorry, did you already what was that last part? <laughs> did you already establish what color the shirt was? It was white. White t-shirt. Okay. It was white. Oh. You, couldn't, you couldn't really see. I only yeah. felt it. Yeah, but you could still see it though. It's it gets a little brown. It gets a little it's it's like tan. If it dries, it's tan. Yeah, I mean you definitely if you were close to me, like if we were looking at the same oatmeal and like you turned too quick, you definitely see it. Here's my theory. I think that people that were just out and about at Whole Foods and didn't recognize you had no idea. But people that are like, oh shit, that's Trevor Wallace. Like yeah. he wears cool clothes. I want to kind of check out like his outfit. Yeah. Everyone who knew it that was it nice was shirt. you knew that you had come on your clothes. Yeah. Or I was, I was like, yelling in the store. I've come on my shirt. <laughs> oh man! Aisle three. Bad baby was there. It was a whole. It was a weird. Hold on, baby was at the Whole, Bad Foods? whole Foods. Did you see her in person? Yeah. Did you see her? Yeah. There's no way she remembered the movie we did together. I looked at her and I was like, like wait for this like little head nod. Nothing. Did she have security? She's with two dudes. She looked uh, nervous. She she looked like uh like she left her car running and then had to run like four across the street like four, four blocks. Like, she was like she was getting mauled, dog. She must get like mauled. Dude, she looked like exactly like her. Like no hat, no nothing. Like yeah. it, it was the most like, oh, that's bad baby I've ever seen. Like you're like, oh, that's somebody. Like, you know, sometimes you see like, is that John Stamos? Is that not? Yeah, yeah. You know, it was like, oh, that's her. Wild. Yeah. When I saw Blueface Baby at that goddamn and his uh, girlfriend, I can't remember her name, at the bowling alley, he had, I, I, I. Like four to five of the biggest people I've ever really? seen. Really? Yes. Uh, maybe, maybe she was like running in to grab something, or maybe I think there was like two dudes behind her. But like, I don't know. It was, yeah, it was just funny. I was like, just come on my t-shirt, and there's her. Well, Sunday is it right? related? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, I saw that organic coconuts and just what did you boom? <clears throat> what did you get at Whole Foods? Yeah. We stuff for the week. Chicken breast grilled. Dude, before I came here, I was grilling with my T-shirt off, hoping a woman was. Okay, see so me. you grill with your T-shirt off, but you come with your fucking T-shirt on. Yeah. What type of sense is that? I'm make? cooking breasts. Let me see my own breasts. Incognito, time to beat my meat <laughs> I was up. Hoping for the gun, but um, <laughs> yeah, I did that. I went to Coachella this weekend. But oh, just, but just the parties. I didn't go to the festival. That's what I guess everybody in LA does. It's like there's so many parties every day. There's like day and night parties, and they're just like sponsored by a brand. And I got invited to one of them, <laughs> Celsius. I got invited to one of theirs. So I just kind of made a weekend trip out of it. Um, I will say it is hilarious. Your thoughts going to festival versus coming home, so funny. Your thoughts in the car on the way there, you're oh, like, God. I only packed five condoms. Is that enough? Not enough. Is that enough for the first night? Not enough for the first hour. Do I need to buy the hotel room next to me just for sound quality so they don't hear me fucking too loud? Well, one is for fucking, one's for sleeping. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? I could be passing out for your condom and still have seven left. That's what I did. Night, Go ahead. Yeah, night one happens. You're like, man, whatever. Strike it out. That's fine. I'm just warming up. You know, uh -huh. tomorrow, tomorrow going crazy. Yeah, I'm day just stretching. This and is night day. party. Yeah. 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 So you're like, oh, bro, two parties, two opportunities. Day party goes by. You're like, man, it's too bright anyways. <laughs> I'm planting the seed. They'll DM me tonight. Yeah. Night party happens. You're like, hey. <laughs> It's too dark. It is getting close. Festival is winding down. You start looking around and you go, wow. I'm going to fuck that blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing? No. Not even a hint? Not even a whiff? A scent? Maybe a side eye? Maybe a hint? Look at this guy. Yeah. It was still a lot of fun. And look, I'm, I, I don't go to festivals for that. No, it was fun to just, uh, I think I have a lot of work coming up in the next couple of weeks. And I was just kind of like, dude, this is like, let's just go fucking be an idiot at Coachella real quick. And I'm glad I was went. Was it fun? Yeah, it was okay. fun. Okay. It was fun for two days. It was fun to have a full day where you just wake up and just grab a bottle of tequila and just live like an Irish stepdad. Like, it was fun to just like. Oh, it was one of those. Yeah. Because Friday, there was a day and a night party and we're leaving Saturday. So Friday, I was like, wake up. Let's fucking pop bottles. 
Who are you with? It was Mark. Okay. Yeah, we just went and just met up with people out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. It was just a quick little like, let's just be a piece of shit for a day kind of feeling. Were, were people out there trying to get wet? Or was it more like- yeah, Well, I was kind of thinking about be, it. Like these scene shows? It I mean? was very much LA uh, just relocated. It was like all uh, the same people you'd see in LA. It was like the internet live. You're like, oh, that's that person. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is when you see somebody's face enough, you go, they know me. And you walk past them, they don't. And you're like, you're a, you're a, and the, you know, it's like you see somebody's yeah. face so many times. It's like this weird, like Los Angeles thing where you both know each other, but nobody wants to break, nobody wants yeah. to, nobody wants to cave in, but dude, I know you. So everyone's like, it's weird, but it was fun. It's so weird because it was probably just a bunch of people being like, "Oh, he'll DM me," and then the and then you're like, "Oh, he'll she'll DM yeah, me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bunch of that, and it then no that. one does it. It was still really fun. Yeah. Um, but it is funny because on the way there, in my head, I'm like, "Yeah, quick little pop out, <laughs> let him know what's good." Right. And then on the way home, is walking himself through. He's like, "You know, it's a festival. It's hot." They don't want to sleep with somebody because they're going to be sweaty. Everyone's sweaty. That's not the place it's to do it. So much you plant sense. the seed at the festival, then you see each other back in LA. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't nobody hooking up at festivals. This is for the music. People hooking up at festivals. Um, this but is yeah. for the music. This is for the vibes. This yeah. is not for the networking. Yes, dude. Yeah, a lot of hey, bro, what's good? Yeah, let's back in LA. Yeah, let's get a bunch coffee. of these, bunch of daps. Uh, but uh, it was still a fun time. But uh, yeah, hilarious when you pack five condoms and come home with six condoms. I gained you, condoms. Hold on, did you did you really pack five? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I was like, I just I just grabbed. I was like, bro, I'm be fucking. Condoms are necessary. I'm be headlining with my dirt. So what are you saying? I said condoms are necessary. They really are. But everyone's on board that they're horrendous. Like what? Sorry, I was just gonna ask, what kind of condoms do you guys? buy the like big the yellow ones, ones or like the, the yellow ones what the the Planned parenthood are you talking about the yellow ones what are you talking about? the trojan like the the ribbed ones or the bear skin which uh, one do he, you guys here's go? here is the most just, cheap thing i've ever said i buy whatever is cheapest <laughs> i feel like that's something you shouldn't cut corners on <laughs> correct you're right I'm with you on this. There's what? No, yeah, there's no way. They're all probably exactly the same, and they, they all, know that you're gonna branding, fucking bro. that you're afraid, and so you'll pay extra for pro ultra protection. But it doesn't matter. It does. There's no way that like a company is, like for example, which Trojan, right? For like the Trojan, like regular ones versus the Trojan whatever fire and ice ribbed blah 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 blah. blah it's the same protection. You know what I mean? It just has like, it? it has like bells and whistles. It's still the car still drives, but just one car is painted like matte black, and the other one is painted. Yeah, I mean, I don't get the ribbed and the fire and ice. I just get the, some generic ones. Have you ever done fire and ice? Yeah. Have you? It didn't taste that great. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I've done it once, but it feels like done what once? Fire and ice. In what capacity? On your dick? Sexually, yeah. Did you taste your own dick? <sighs> Couldn't reach. I hold on. <laughs> no, I did it once, but I was like, I feel like this isn't what you want to be feeling at this hour. What what is it? What does it feel like? I feel like dentine ice. <laughs> oh, you really like you feel it. Yeah. You've never done is it? it? No. Is it like hot and cold and hot and cold? Uh it was more cold than it was hot. It didn't I don't know. It felt weird. It felt like somebody was chewing five gum and blowing on my dick. Does it make you last longer because cause it's it cool? Sh I think that's the idea. What yeah, what is the idea? What are they? Because I heard just, so many jokes about these fire and ice comments, but like, I, I just what is the what is the purpose? What do they say? Like, oh, sensations, or is it is it? Because I know they used to have condoms. I used to have them in fucking college, where they had like numbing, uh, essentially like a numbing element. Yeah, that makes sense to them. Right, that's great. You can't feel anything. Yeah, because you got a numb cock with a goddamn condom. Oh, true. That's like Fort Knox for your dude. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just get the generic ones. There's like a blue one that Trojan has. That are yeah, there's a bearskin. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do the do the bearskin ones. Mm -hmm. Um, there isn't. There is one that's. Is it? There's one that I don't get. To, don't go because there is. There is a plus about a condom where you can you can definitely last longer with a condom on. So the ones that they like, they brand like, whoa, it's so thin. You don't even Ultra know it's thin. On. That's the one I don't want to do. Because I'm like, if I'm going to wear a condom, let me just last. Let me have a purpose for it. Let me last a little longer. Uh, I will not come in a condom. Are you a con come in a condom guy? What? Are you come come in a condom guy? The, would it, would it like finish in a condom or take yeah. it off to finish? Come in a condom. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're not? I know you're supposed to, but I don't. 
So that defeats the whole purpose of a condom. Wait, so, wait, no, so wait, no, right, right before I'm, you rip it off and you fucking yeah, blast away, it's yeah. kind of like a grenade if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. It, it does feel like that. It does feel like that. Greta almost ate one this weekend uh, again. But um, it does, it, it, uh, it has that, it has kind of that effect. Yeah. But the reason I'm wearing it is I don't like, you know, like for STDs and stuff. Of course. Yeah. Pregnancies? It, that, I never think about that. I always just think about STDs all the time. Mm. You ever investigate before you go in there? In what sense? Going where? The you, go to, you go down there and you go, hey, I'm going to eat it, but let me just what do a little check. No. No. Sometimes I move labels <laughs> around. How do, you, how do you check for- You can't. Mentally? I mean, you can't. There's, but I think there's mental checks. You go, oh, yeah. substitute teacher. Okay. Huh. What, what grade? Okay. okay. I just straight up ask credit scores. What is this? This is a customer review for the fire and ice condoms. Three stars felt like my va vagu was on fire. Vagu? That sounds delicious. She thought it was cool though. Vagu? This is the, this is the picture she uploaded with it. She has a corn shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Here. I'm in. Um. So, is the cooling on the inside for us and the hots for them? They, oh, it could be. Their yeah. marketing says it's alternating. It's not, not real. So. No. I want a mood ring condom. That'd be cool. You know, when she's about to finish, turns a different color. You know what I want? I want everyone to have an app so I can scan it so I know if you have something. That's all I want. Because mm. then go beep, beep, nothing. Cool. Let's roll the dice on a baby. Who gives a heck? I just don't want freaking herp burps. The herp burps, that's the scariest one. That ain't going nowhere. All of a sudden, I got to order Propecia and Valtrex. What a nightmare. How do you know what it is? <laughs> oh, 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 let me tell you something. I went to college. Hold up. I had like four of my friends get that shit in college. Damn. Yeah. From you? Yup. I was blasting those asses. <laughs> God damn. Chuching, chuching. Guess what, dude? Bo, Today's bo, bo. episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. The easy way to save when you're shopping on your iPhone or computer, bro. All right? Like, have you been feeling the impact of inflation? I have. Eggs, gas. Bread, dude, I literally had to give my firstborn child for half a loaf. Wow. Yeah. Sourdough? Uh, yeah. Damn. Expensive. Okay. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart, dude. Here's how it works. What? Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. And when you click checkout, Pornhub. the Honey button appears. It was like... <laughs> The honey button appears like, yo, what's good, fam? How are you doing? And he's like, I can help you out. Just hit right here, little apply coupons. Boom. Wait a few seconds. Searches the internet. Drops it in. Boom. You're saving money. And the I mean, I don't know if we mentioned it. It's free. Dude, I saw a pair of pants I really liked, and they were like $98. I was like, bitch, I ain't paying $98 for pants. Right. Who am I, SpongeBob on prom? I ain't doing that, but I clicked it. I clicked it. Get this. It goes down to 59 bucks. What? It's insane, and dude. it what? doesn't just work on your desktop. Nope. It's also on your phone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the goo. Okay. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out like an idiot. Okay. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and us supporting the show. Okay. So get PayPal Honey for free. Join honey.com slash stiff. That's joinhoney.com slash stiff. Goddamn. I have a funny experience that I totally forgot to talk about. I had a Michael moment, meltdown. Not, uh -oh. not meltdown, but remember a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about like, a, oh, somebody should make a Top Golf video, like dudes named Golf at Top Golf. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. So I fucking in between sets in LA, I had like an hour to kill. I was like, dude, all right, I'm going to go down El Segundo, where the fuck that is. Yeah, that's a bomb, right? That's far? A, that's far. Far. 20 minutes into the drive, I get a call from Laugh Factory. Hey, someone dropped out. Do you want to do another oh, set? And I was God. like, God damn it. I'm going to film a stupid ass TikTok. <laughs> and I get there and it. I, I realized Top Golf closed at like 10 and I'm there at like 9.55. All of a sudden, people are just pouring out of this bitch. I'm like, God oh, damn it, dude. I don't want to be out front while people are walking yeah, out doing yeah. this. So I'm waiting in my car until it kind of like dies down. Waiting in my car. All of a sudden, I hear just a like a ding. Somebody hits my car with their with no. the door while I'm sitting in it. But I have tinted windows so I didn't think that I was in there. Hit my car like a hard. hard. Yeah. I get out. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You hit my car. And he goes, yo, my, oh, yo, Trevor. And I was like, no. No. Not right that. now. Not right now. He goes, yo, man, when's your next show in LA? I'm like, dude, you hit my car. And he's like, ah, did I? And then he did the thing. Did where he, you? He, takes, he does the thing where he takes his shirt. Probably come on it. Take his shirt. And he goes like, muff it out. He goes, nah, it's, it's like not really like bad. But yeah, bro, when's the next show? He kept reverting. And the fact that he like was aware 
I think if we didn't know each other. I could have been like, man, fuck, Nick, what the fuck, man? You know, but the fact that he said that, yeah, I, I, I de escalated quick. I was like, man, fucking, whatever. And then the worst part is I had to go film a fucking TikTok after that. Oh my God. So I had to wait till they leave. He's like, yo, man, when's the next video? I don't know, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hold on. So, so funny. I Hits mean, my car, I get out. Yo, what the fuck? You hit my car. Oh, shit. Yo, Trevor, when's your next show? Call AAA. Someone help me. I can't. It was. Is it still there? I mean, you could like ding it out, but the noise was bigger than the. They had a white car, so it like kind of left a white mark on the door. I can't believe he didn't. He wasn't no, trying like, to. Like, oh my bad. I'm sorry. It was just like, oh fuck. Yo, what's up, man? When's your next show? I'd be like, yeah. I tell you, Bray Improv, May 12th and 13th. <laughs> Plug it. Yeah, I mean, I I'll tell you when the shows are. Let's just let's do this first. Right, but that's what like calmed me down. I was like, oh, man, whatever. Oh, fine. Who gives a fuck? But it was just so funny because he, I think he was drunk, obviously, yeah. but he just did not, like, I was way more important than the car getting hit. He's like, man, fuck all that, man. Yo, let's do the <laughs> run again together. Yo, be, yo, do my be real. You hit my car. The be real ask is wild. It's so funny. It's everywhere. Yeah. Be my be real. Stop hitting my car first. Yeah, it was so funny. It's just like the one, two. I got out of the car quick. I was like, what, what my little puny ass would have done? Yeah, I can't, I can't, believe, you got, like four I can't believe you got out of the car. Out of Top Golf. But it, what's even worse, you get hit in the car and you look out the window. But I think you hey, got to roll, roll the window down. I can't believe you got out of the yeah, car. Yeah, but then they got to roll theirs down too. And they're like, dude, doing this to another man? <laughs> oh my God. Roll your window down. Roll your window down. Can you imagine asking for a head like that? <laughs> Uh, dude, that is, that is crazy. That's cra that And just, I, you didn't ask for like insurance. I don't think it was that hard. I'm sure if you look at it in the sun at the right angle, it might be a little, little bloop, little, little dimple, but it did the noise it made was loud. Yeah. I've never been inside a car when that bitch, bitch got hit. I'm sure it's so loud. <laughs> dude, it was just so funny. Have you uh, hooked up in your car yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's really appropriate because it's white in there. Yeah. So the semen can go anywhere. It doesn't even matter. Anywhere. And those seats, it just, it'll probably just roly-poly around. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll be taking those turns quick, so I need something to grip me down. Hold up! It's Sitting in nut. <gasps> the, 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 the woman in Richmond, I did something that I Mulch always, girl? No, I kind of <laughs> wish. <laughs> Mulch girl. Marigold! I did something that I saw on POV porn that I've never done before. This is going to do nothing for anyone but me. So she was in the right. So I was laying on the bed. She was in the regular head position, like on her stomach. And I told her to lift her feet up and cross them. I knew no one was going to be on board with this. That was the big <laughs> climax. Dude, but you see it all Have the time. Have her do the YMCA you, with her you, feet. <laughs> if, you put, if you put in the search bar, like POV, blowjob, feet, feet, a foot fetish, I mean, that's, that's what they come up as. So you're like, so you get both sensations. So you're getting head and you're looking at feet and, and then she's, and then she's in there, right? So she's like moving her toesies back and forth and shit. It's so hot. Bring up the picture, Gabe. I knew before, do you hear me? I qualified the statement before I said this. You can do nothing for anybody on this yeah. goddamn show, but it was so. Look, it was I like fucked a, a boneless flashlight. We out here. It, it was like matter. a dream come true. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like I was doing something. Staring at her feet, getting topped off. I mean, that's, that's your fire and ice right there. Cause oh, she has oh. athlete's foot. Fire oh, and ice. God, it was so hot. Yeah. All right, just before, I feel like I need your consent. There's going to be a dick on the screen. If you want great. to see the picture, just great. Great. let everyone know. Here we go. Is that what you're talking oh, about? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's a thing, dude. Look at all these so the fucking feet people. Kicked up. The feet kicked what up. What is this called? I don't know, man. The feet pose? I don't know. I, don't, I really honestly don't know what it's called. I'll it's find so out. hot, though. God, I just, I felt so proud of myself for remembering. I was so happy. Yeah. I go, hey, can you bring your feet up and cross them? No hesitation. Soup right up. A. A. God damn it. Feet. Feet. You guys don't even know what you're missing. You really don't. No, I kind of get the feet thing now. What? Oh. A little bit. What do in, you mean? In one specific circumstance, okay? Hold up. Give it to me. Uh, my girl recently, she's like sitting, we're like, uh, like you across, have a girl? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Okay. Kind of sitting across from each other at the table and she's like wearing like nice clothes, mm -hmm. right? And she has like a, a pantsuit? Kind of, kind of vaguely like a pantsuit, right? More like a romper thing. But, um, Hot. uh, but shoes off and just oh. like absent mindedly 
just like kind of like touching one foot to like her leg and oh, there's dude, just something I'm gonna, about I'm like, going to get hard. Something about it I was like, "Oh god. You got it. Is the wire crossed now?" You got it. Yeah, they spent it's, enough it's, time in and this Im- aura. It just yeah, happens. imagine her, you're sitting across from her and imagine her. You're at Thanksgiving dinner and you guys talk about some dumb fucking Dallas Cowboy shit cuz your uncle just fucking So you guys playing footsies, is that like your role play? I don't if she if she, she's doing it. If her foot it, we're in public. That's my public. That's my public. Uh, public fucking fucking. So, if we're in, if we're in public, like having, like at dinner or whatever. Oh. Really? Because remember in a uh, wedding crashers, she like jerks them off under the table. Yeah. So if a girl's doing that with like some feet, oh, on your shins. Fuck. No, not really? shins. All my cock. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I just like if she was doing that on your like leg or something. Nah, it does nothing. If you take your if you take your shoe well, yeah, I mean, your shoe off and then you fucking just go on my cock. People might notice that one at a restaurant. No. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> God damn. Listen up, people. We're talking about ship station. When it comes to saving money as a small business owner, every little bit helps. And ShipStation is here to do just that. Gives you access to discounts up to 84% off UPS and UPS. And you can manage every order from a very simple to use dashboard. To use dash, very simple to use dashboard. Simple to use dashboard. Simple to use dashboard. Um, ask me if we use it. Do we use it? Yep, for our freaking Boom. merch, which is gonna come soon. Stop yelling at us. We use it for every single merch shop, dude. ShipStation is incredible. Uh, it just organizes everything. It makes everything seamless. Um, we love it, and so should you, dude. Over one hundred and thirty thousand companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation, and ninety-eight percent of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for. Life, life, dude. 95 to life, boy. But, but, jail. Ship station effortlessly. <laughs> Ship station effortlessly integrates everything you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Okay, so worry less about the bottom line when you save money with Ship Station. Go to shipstation.com and use code SOCKS today and sign up for free. 60 day trial. That's insane. Okay, that's shipstation.com, code SOCKS. Free 60 day trial. Wow. Look, if you're a small business, it's dumb if you don't. God damn. What was the last time you guys went to a restaurant with a tablecloth? Never. Do restaurants have macaroni grill? Do they have some? No, I feel like some random ones. Little old timey steakhouses have them. Man, I got to go to uh, Olive Garden. What the fuck? I, for what? I don't know. You never been? No, I've never been. What? Not one time. Dude, you love chain restaurants, and oh, that's the them. mecca. He's that's the final level boss of, of chain restaurants is an Olive Garden. Should we go to a... By the way... your family. Oh, that's their slogan. By the way, I fucking text everybody in this goddamn group chat that I wanted a goddamn cigar night. Only one person responded. When? In the group chat. Said, hey, you guys want... Gabe responded. Nobody responded. Sorry. I wanted a goddamn cigar night last Wednesday. All right? I'm bringing it all on the fucking podcast. Let everybody let's know this no one one's out. Let's do it this one's I'm down. I'm down. All right. Yes. I got cigars. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Can cigars and, and Olive Garden. Dude, I'm going to put a cigar in my auto blow. Because it, it should be able to, because the suction is in there. Dude, if the auto blows. <laughs> but fucking, there is, I think that's the problem. There's no suction. Starts blowing out. There's no suction. Yeah, there is. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. You have a small dick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was no, plenty no, of there's, suction. No, there's no suction. It's just this. It's essentially getting jerked off inside a fleshlight. There's no suction. That's what I'm saying. It feels like getting jerked off in, like in between a curb and like a like a ball from McDonald's. A ball from McDonald's? What? What ball ball pit? You ever hook Eight up ball? in a ball pit? <laughs> Do you hook up in a ball pit? Yeah. No. I tongued out a girl in a ball pit at, at a Dave and Buster's. It was so hot. I was also fucking 12. But okay, I mean, good. Any that- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you remember those, like, when you're, like, 12, 13, 14, those hook up? Like, I remember, yeah, not, like, not even, but not even, like, any, like, like a, cock and just making out. Like a swing set? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like, late well, night you swing could, set? Yeah, you had to be anywhere but your house. Yeah. Because you're, like, our parents are still up. You got to go somewhere. Yeah, to go somewhere, like, sneak out of the window, like, hook up in, like, a Target parking yeah. lot. Yeah. The movie theater was that place for us in high school. We'd all go to the movies, but yeah. you wouldn't see the movie. You wouldn't watch movies. you just hang out there. Yeah. So then if you were to hook up with a girl, you would go behind, like, a business, and yeah. then you're just hooking up in some bush. God, those were so hot. But you didn't even... You get dumb hard, but you didn't even come. You didn't First time care. I kissed a girl was behind a subway. Eighth Eat grade. Fresh. Broad daylight. And... 
And this is funny. She kissed the homie right after. <laughs> 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 Swear to God, bro. She was like, like she, my friend was like, oh yeah, he's never kissed a girl. And she's like, I'll do it. Kisses Damn. me. And then they start making out. That's, <laughs> dude, that's Jared Fogel's dream. <laughs> that is. That is. Yeah, I mean, hilarious. But I was like, I thought we had something. And she kissed him right after? Broad daylight, right after. But One, what, two. So he, she Best just, wingman award. Did she make out with you or just kiss? Just kiss. And then she made out with him? Uh, it was like a, it was like an in between. You know when you're like kind of making out, but you're kind of not fully. You're kinda, it's like an open mouth kiss. So you got the auto blow, and he got the actual head. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, what was your first kiss? Um, it was Eileen Cuff in fifth grade. Wow. And we made out. Uh, God, I don't know how to explain this. <clears throat> so, in my elementary school, we had windows, like big windows that would open out. And some little kid got smashed in the head by a, a teacher opening a window. So they had to install these like metal like um, bars, uh, like a railings. I'm sorry, like metal railings. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't get close enough to get hit in the head. Yeah. So I remember she got aggressive with me. She pushed me against the railing. Ooh. I remember I can feel it on my back. That fucking railing. It yeah. was hot. So it, you... She, yeah, I got dominated. You were the sub. Yeah, I was subbed. And she had tit tays, boy. <laughs> Her and Christina Scalco caked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she like tongued me down. Just broad daylight in between broad, classes. It was right it before was, home act. It was after it, you know when you're that young, you like you have like you like plan things out. Like from like if you're gonna like hold a girl's hand or whatever, oh, you're yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. in your you're the, the yeah, night yeah. before you're like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it's okay. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, do it. I'm gonna do it. What am I gonna do it? Probably first period. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna buy you. I'm gonna hand, whatever, yeah. right? So it felt like she was planning it out the whole time. Cause yeah. it was like a it was right, school just let out, Ooh, the bell, and then damn. everyone's running out, whatever. And she's like, Michael. And I turned around and she like put like she put her body weight so on dude, me and she was thinking me. about it too. That's what I mean. Yeah. She I think she was doing the okay, you're gonna kiss him, but like that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And she tongued me down, dude. Wow. Did and you guys I, pass notes? Yeah. I'm trying to think. I still have an entire fucking shoebox full of notes. I need what? Yeah, dude. Of notes women passed you? Yeah, I need to bring them. They're in fucking DC though. I need to Holy bring them. Holy shit. Dude, it would be so I would so love funny. to see what those are. Ugh. And like what like what it's because like those are big risks at the time. You know, yeah, that's yeah. like sending like a horny text like now and you're yeah. like, you know something like back like the amount of thought that probably went into it like do you think I'm cute and cute with like a K? Yeah. And she's like, please just check yes. Yeah. It, dude, th those notes were like, I remember girls, <clears throat> they would they would be folded so nicely. The yeah. penman should be crazy. And I remember so distinctly having that feeling to be like, God, I hope there's a note in my locker. Uh, oh, from this girl. ours were in class. To, well, they were I in class. We they were notes. in class. But like when I was a junior, this girl was a sophomore. And we were like, we weren't dating, but we were like passing. We were like in like the talking and passing. Yeah, notes the writing phase. phase. Hilarious. But I remember going to my locker, like opening it up super slow because I was hoping that as I'd open it, a note would fall out. Mm. And I remember that one time I opened up, it was no fell out. And I like my heart fucking yeah. jumped out of my soul. Of course. That's and like you was, meet a chick at a bar. And then you, yeah. the next day you're, you get a text out of blue. It's like, it's me, Shelly. And you're like, I'm in love. Oh, God, I, dude, I love. I, what was I even excited for a text? I haven't been excited for a text in so long. Really? I, I feel like I get that. I feel like it's so, um, it's so like you do enough DMing and talk, like that you don't get it like a you don't get one of those texts. Really, I do. You like? I think. Well, walk me through one of that. Would that would you don't have to say the names? I was also, like, I, we'll get back to that. But yeah, I do yeah. think it's hilarious that teachers are always like, "Let me read that note." Why are you so horny, Doc? <laughs> yeah. Let me read. Hey, the, the whole class got to read that. I'm trying to tongue down Samantha after this. Yeah. Oh, not if I do it first. You're like, what did you say? Huh? Why you care about what kids are passing in your class? That's true. Yeah, they did always want to read it. They always want to read it in front of the class. And they read it slow. <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts it in his pocket. Oh, yeah. keep this for proof. Anyways, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think there's been moments where I like met a girl that I like immediately kind of vibed with or met at like a yeah, bar after yeah, a show yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. And um, either some time goes by or like they get your number, you don't get theirs. So you, you can't really make a move. And then it's, it's like, <clears throat> Out of the blue, like, hey, we should do a thing, and you're like, oh, what up? Yeah, I, you know, I, I you was thinking about me. 
I definitely understand the the circumstances of short. And it's definitely happened, but I feel like, I mean, I I, I haven't been single that long, but it's like I feel like all the numbers that are exchanged are always like maybe i'm always the one with the number so i'm always the one that's like hey what's up it's michael from raya yeah, right? whatever whatever way to flex um but <laughs> you don't ever get like um nervous not nervous is the word but you don't ever like kind of be like oh like like you'll put out and be like hey it's so much fun meeting you last night uh let's get drinks this week let's go to dinner this week and then it takes a little bit of time, and then they get back, and they're like, "Oh my god, I'd love to!" Like that, that like I love to. Is that like a little bit of a pat on? Yeah, no, no, like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yes. love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyword yeah. love. Yep, yep, yep. Two, one, two. DMs after shows sometimes give me like that little bit of whatever. Yeah, but that's like a different. That's like a void. That's like a. That's like a, oh, this could be a fun night. I, I look for the like the follow up. Right. I don't know. I think like to I think if you, get, if you get DMs like after like LA shows, I think it means a little bit. But if you're in fucking Des Moines and you're going to DM, which is nice, it's very nice. Yeah. But it's like there's dude, less of like a chance for it to be like long. But you'd be surprised, dude. I mean, like think about Richmond. Yeah. You're like, man, what's going on in this city? You'll find out. Hold up, huh? What do you mean, sexual? You probably on your. I did the sex in Richmond. Hold up, I'm hard. I wasn't. You were. I did. Well, if you if you did allegedly, hypothetically, metaphorically, right. You know, that's probably a town where you're not like, because you do a show in New York City about, about man, my DM's about to be flooded. Fine. But then yeah, you do those a show. Are, dude, those are always weird. When you do a bigger show and you go, 38, women going to be wanting daddy blow. Go back to DMs. It's one DM from a golden doodle. You're like, how the fuck did you type this? You don't got no goddamn thumbs. <laughs> Just a tennis rah, 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 ball rah. question mark. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, but, um, it's like random, but that's, that's life. It's the places you have the most expectations. They never succeed. You know, it's like, yeah. it's the least expected ones where you're like, yeah, uh, because of like, think about your flight. It got canceled and you got bumped first class. You're not like, there's no way to guess what's going to happen next. Right. Uh, here's the thing. I always yell about how life ain't shit. I'm I'm fitting to die. But like there are, but there are moments like that where you go, man, life is kind of cool, man. Of course. You meet new people, twists and turns, lefts and rights. Yeah. You know, you get sucked off underneath a bridge. Who cares? Life's cool. There you go. That's how I know you got a nut off recently. You're coming in here. You're the most stressful day and you're like, yo, this life shit ain't bad. Yeah, but it's, it's not great. <laughs> Can be. It can be. When I wake up with a headache, I go, oh, fucking do better. Yeah. I want to, uh, did I ever say this? I think I'm going to get a sauna. No. What is it called? Steam room. Thank you. No. What's, sauna. What's, what's the not steam one? He's glitching again. Sauna, sauna. is the. Sauna, sauna has sauna. steam. Sauna is heat. That's what I want. Okay. I can't wait. Yeah, I look, man. There's one that's not that expensive. What do you? What do you just post up in it and sweat all day? Yeah, not all day. But you go in there early, twenty minutes, and go in a fucking ice shower, do a Wim Hof. That's fire and ice for your body. Correct. Put a broom handle in your ass, and it's fucking Tuesday. I'm done it. I'm done it. I'm done with it. What what does that have to do? So, how does warming your body up and then cooling it down was just keeping you alert? I don't know. Rogan says it. (laughs) God. No, but I mean, you have, you've always done a sauna before. Yeah, you get out, you feel fucking incredible. Oh, the LA Fitness. I like when you leave the sauna. You get That's hit what with I mean. That wind. It's the same thing. LA Fitness saunas are hilarious. There's a naked Russian dude. There's a guy in the corner freestyling, and then there's a guy <laughs> staring at my sack. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes, "I think there's something wrong with that." And I go, no, "I think there's something wrong with you. Why are you staring at my sack?" It's just it's always the funniest group of people ever. Yeah, it's like you it looks like a, the worst improv team of all time. <laughs> It looks like five people from jury duty were like, let's get out of here. Jury duty's hilarious, by the way. I don't think you have to go anymore. Huh? I don't think you have to go anymore. The amount of people I've talked to, they're like, I just don't go. And I'm like, is that legal? No. This is not financial advice. 100%. God damn. Look, I just got back from the desert all weekend. I am parched. What am I going to do? Chug, chug, chug some liquid IV. I probably don't even need that many chugs. I have one stick of liquid IV. Boom, I'm back in the game. Because one stick of liquid IV is equal to two to three water bottles. Dude, Liquid IV is a category-winning hydration brand fueling for well-being, okay? And their hydration multiplier is one product you're missing in your daily routine. 
Dude, that's the one thing that when I packed for the weekend, I saw it in my bag. It was like, thank God. Every single time I go on the road, I pack literally five to six of them because there's no water in hotels. I don't know what the hell's happening. And a douse friction. That's what I'm saying. Bread's too expensive. Juice. Water. If you put it in there, it's, it's and you just swish, swish, swish. You feel, first of all, it tastes great. And you just, you feel so much better. People undervalue hydration. With 12 delicious flavors, mine is uh, strawberry and watermelon bangers. The matu one, also a sleeper. It has all the vitamins you need. B3, B5, B6, B12, vitamin C. Uh, three times the traditional amount of electrolytes that your normal sports drink has. So really, it's just premium ingredients. Why, why wouldn't you drink it? Go grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code SOCKS at checkout, dude. SOCKS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code SOCKS at liquidiv.com. Goddamn. Jerry did it. When was the last time you went? I, they tried to get me to go, and freaking Natalie got me off. I don't know what she did. But she called me. She's like, you don't have to go anymore. I was like, cool. Your honor, he is a <laughs> foot fetish. I'm like, okay, we cannot bring this boy in here. Yeah, there's no way. I don't know what happened. But yeah, I mean, I think if you don't go to jury duty, you owe. Well, because I didn't go one time. And then Natalie told me that if I don't go, then I'm going to owe like, it was like not a little bit amount of money. Like really? they'll fine you. Yeah. Anyways, jury's hilarious. They just pick random people. They go, hey, this guy's going to be on murder. What do you guys think? Good what do you school? think? Yeah. This guy has 120 fucking credit score. What do I think? <laughs> he just got a fucking job. What's happening? What do you think is the best way to tell if somebody's saying enough for a jury? Like what's enough for a jury? Like what's one thing you could either ask them or have them do that'd be like, you are. Honestly, dude, I think it's, when was the last time you pooped your pants? <laughs> okay. Real cool. Seriously. Yeah. Because if it was like, oh, yesterday, why? But if it was like, oh man, 17 years ago. I took a bong rip and I walked outside and I thought, it was, I thought it was a bathroom. Yeah. All right. But like, if it was like, if it was literally a week ago, come on, man. If you can't hold your own bowel movements, I don't want you, I'm on, I'm on trial for fucking murdering my cousin. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> what do you think's one? I'm trying Wait. to think. I'm trying to, it'd be like an etiquette thing that like, they wouldn't seem like a test, but it is a test. I'd be like, how do you cut a steak? And if they hold their knife like this, I'm like, biz, you deserve to be on trial. Like I would see like, or like how do they hold a knife? How do they like hold a, a fork? Like how do they cut a piece of chicken? But we're talking about how to, how to filter out a jury. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like, are you a sane person? Cause if you see somebody stabbing a chicken like this, I'm like, you are probably going to side with the murder. Right. Like I if you see somebody, like how do you yeah. eat pasta? How, like watch them do a normal quote, normal activity and see how they react about it. I would ask them if they think a hot dog is a sandwich mm. and then see how they respond. That's true. Yeah. Because they're because they could be like, you know who's a sandwich? The government. <laughs> oh my goodness. You oh need my, to be on the jury. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, the, the God, but but think about that. There's what is it, eleven people your peers? What is it? 12, 11? It's 12, yeah. Twelve? Twelve people. Baker's dozen plus one. Twelve people. Random people. Yeah. This guy fucked a tricycle eleven days ago. <laughs> and he's gonna fucking be a jury for me. What? You think anybody's ever got hoes from the jury? Hundred percent. Like, like, I mean, you're on a trial for a while. You, yeah. You know, lady you don't think the people, yeah, dude, you don't think one of the fucking people from the OJ Simpson trial fucked. They were there for like eight months. Yeah. Well, wow. and then once they, not every trial, but like, if it's like a really like high profile trial, they're, they get sequestered. They all have to stay in the same hotel together. They can't Holy talk shit. to anyone else. They can't leave. Like, it's like the yeah, NBA so, bubble. Yeah. Yeah. They only can talk to them, themselves. Have you guys seen the show, the new Amazon's new show, Jury Duty? Mm -mm. It's fucking, it's a crazy premise. They take yeah. a guy that's, <clears throat> everyone is in on the joke except for this one guy who they get signed up for jury duty, but the entire trial, all the other juries, whole thing is fake, and they just try to throw like wild shit at him to get him to be like, whoa, what's going on? Kind of cool. Reality, or is it real? It's it's like, it's like quote scripted unquote, or? everything is scripted around him. Huh. He's He doesn't know it's scripted. Everything like some Truman does. World shit? Yeah, very much so. <clears throat> That's insane. It's um, insane. <clears throat> but I don't know how they, how do, how do they pick the jury? Like, it's literally shit like that. So like two, two, the the lawyers from each side get an equal say in trying in picking the jury, right? I think yeah. they each get to choose six, or maybe the judge chooses, but they get to guide the process and they ask a bunch of questions. They screen a bunch of people, try to like they're all trying to like build the jury in their favor. Yeah. So if you're like, you know, representing a guy that did like tax fraud, you want the jury to be people that are like pro tax fraud, like anti government kind of people. So you're trying to suss out that kind of information from jurors wow. to get them on. Damn. Yeah. Fascinating. It is pretty crazy. I don't know, man. How far is he trying to be lawyers? 
reading a bunch of books, being like, oh, I like the law. Do you? You were, that, that, That's kind of tight to walk around like on a murder trial and do that. What is that? They do but like a monologue. That's cool as oh, shit. Oh, dude, a good lawyer in action. You ever seen Fuck. videos of it? Yes. It's kind of crazy. I forget what trial it was, but there was a guy and he was like, so where were you here? If you were, and then he was like cornering them everywhere and dude, the guy was on fire. When a lawyer goes, so let me get this straight, you're fucked. Oh, yeah. Oh, so let me get so this straight. So you're telling me. I start talking loud. Anyways, my name's Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I try to throw him off. Dude, I mean, it's crazy. When they start adding this shit together, yeah. it's got to be an electric feeling. When you when you hear them and you see teams where oh, yes. somebody else will fuck up and they'll say something and they'll like say the wrong word and that tri and that makes everything they're saying like faulty or something. I forget mm -hmm. what it was. There was a case where some girl blamed it on another man. And once you blame it on something else, it like takes it outside of that perspective. I forget what it was, but the other, like the lawyers literally went like this in their corner on the other team. They're like, yes, like she fucked up. She said the wrong thing. God, it will do. Yeah. Can you feel like you ever, you know, you're in a fight with like your girlfriend and then she says, and then all of a sudden you go, gotcha. You go, oh, that's interesting. It's interesting you text me at 1206, but you said you didn't have your phone. So how'd you text me at 1206? Mm -hmm. Please elaborate. And she's like, well, I, it didn't mean, oh, you didn't mean that. Oh, interesting. And I, and I look at the stenograph, I go, read that back, please. And then a bald man walks out and he goes, take a seat. A hundred percent. I will say it's funny how there's the lawyer who, who we're just talking about, but there's also like DUI lawyers. Like those guys are just sick. They are sick. They're just so cool, all sweaty. Why are like, judges still wearing robes? Bitch, you ain't graduate. <laughs> I think they did. Gavel, gavel. Yeah, it, it's for the. What it is, is this? funny when they go all rise for who? Him for that guy. He walks in, and everyone's like, "Your Honor, sir, all rise." It's so it's so weird. And then three days before, uh, there was a prostitute shoving a goddamn skip in his ass. <laughs> like literally three days ago. Oh and yeah, rise. Where do you think right. that bailiff's coming from, dude? Who's a bailiff? What's a bailiff? Buff guy in the courtroom, security oh, guard, bouncer. God, he is a bouncer. Gavel, gavel. Uh, should we do some? Yeah, a little bit of sock talk. Socks, oh, let's do it. Sock talk in and flock in. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a sock talk from Gabriel today. From you? Uh-oh, from you? Uh, this is from what? another Gabriel oh, who says, dude. what's up, my boys? I've been in a long distance relationship for about two months now. Just recently, we started masturbating together and dirty talking Hot. over the phone. Uh, have you guys ever done this before? Like, do you do it while you're on the road? Do you have any tips? I only did it once. Did I ever tell you guys about that story? I didn't have the right lotion. I was using hotel lotion and oh, it was, worst. was burning my dick. And I said that I was like, oh, I got to stop. It's really burning. And she's like, can you just be in the moment? Like, like you complaining isn't letting me get off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was such a. a Anticlimactic. Just, you like turn into a fight. Yeah, literally. It was just such a like relationship. Like, like I think new age of relationships, like sex and like this is so hot. They're two months in for sure. But like, I mean, we were together for like two years at this point. So I was like, can you just fucking, what do you mean it's burning? Just pretend. Like, is this not hot enough? Like, it, I just was like, the only thing that's hot how is my are we dick. here? What? I said, the only thing that's hot is my dick. Burning. <laughs> burning. <laughs> smells it. like lemongrass. What's happening? Burning. And then Essential it, it just, oils. It just like slowly just didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Never what? again. Yeah, this you is know, doesn't shame me. Pornhub.com. Sometimes I do. Like, <laughs> if you pick the one, you ever run uh, run across one that shames you? Porn. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's like shame porn. Of course. God, I yeah. I try to be like, how are you Dude, into? I this? listen out. You know, I work out with those in. <laughs> Sorry, what? I work out with those. <laughs> you fucking little bitch. And I'm like, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I get you pumped up. Oh that. yeah, dude, you kidding me? What's better, Tiesto or a girl being like, you little fucking pussy? You think you can handle this while I'm putting up 15s? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I do incline. Um, I think that, oh, any tips he's asking for? Yeah. One that's hot. They're only two months in? Yeah. That's hot. It's a hot stage. Oh, it's such a hot stage. Um, I don't even know. I mean, lighting? Lighting's always very fucking important. I wouldn't overdo it as well. I think if there's a tendency to just like, that's the only, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you get off now. So, like, you don't want to overdo it. Because then you the hotness do it through of it. texting or FaceTime? Excuse me? Would you rather do it through texting or FaceTime? Texting. Yeah. FaceTime's so like too real. Yeah. There's no moment to like be like, oh, is this a good angle? How does this look? Yeah. Let also, me prop like, it up. Also, sometimes you got to think about what you, what you want to write. Well, also that sometimes like. You run out of shit to say. Well, yeah. Well, you also, like that? Yeah. Emphasize well, do, it 14 times. Do you times. like that though? But but the little, like the text in between, a couple of minutes. Like the wait. That's an edging. Yeah. The wait. You're like, yeah. oh, she about That's iCloud being like, don't come yet. Oh, 
God, those Hot. three, those three dots are like, hold up. And you look at your phone that says three images attached. And it's goofy. You're like, what, what do you the do fuck? when you, you get a Snapchat from a woman? It's a video. And you go, boy, I can't wait to open this at home. You wait uh -huh. eight hours till you yep. get home. Right. Yep. And you open it. and It's like a video of a lamp. Upset. I waited eight hours. I waited eight hours. I wish there was a, a different color. If it was like a, like, cause you know, it's a purple when you mm -hmm. get a video. Yep. I wish it was like, if somebody was sending like some scandalous, it's like little, little right. red, little yeah. green, little turquoise. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about those texts that have the, that's like now uh, iPhone can do this shit where it's like. Invisibility. Invisibility. Those are the word. Invisibility most yeah. hot. I think that's real that hot. That shit is so Send hot. Send it and then you untrace it like his little etch sketch. Oh, there's just like one areola. Hey. One areola. Dude, getting sex is so hot. And sex out of nowhere Check is getting hot. Check your phone. <laughs> but getting the sex out of nowhere, when you decide like the car wash and you're fucking stressed, you're eating sour cream and all your shit. You immediately start looking around. Like... And, shit, and then you get a text like, what do you want? Oh, fuck. Hold up. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to clean my own. Pee pee. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I think my only, my only bit of advice is just don't overdo it because it'll it'll lose its uh it'll lose its hotness pretty quickly. Would be my only bit of advice. You have any advice for this, gentleman? No, I already said. Oh, <laughs> cool. Love it. Um, that's great. Secret sock time. Anonymous confession. My ex boyfriend and I used to get really high and have a lot of sex. I live across the street from a gas station, so he would buy a bunch of snacks before he came over. One night, he bought a unicorn pop. Sucked on it a little bit and put it in my butt <laughs> while we were having sex. Uh, I kind of liked it, TBH. I went pee after we finished and heard a plink sound in the toilet. <laughs> Apparently part of it had broken off inside of me and he didn't tell me. He then proceeded to eat the rest of it afterwards. I'm still in love with him. That will make you love a man forever. You'll uh, never forget that feeling. What's, what did he eat? There's a uh, lot of cold fire and ice talk going on today. Oh. oh my God! Oh, I was picturing like uh the the pops, the rocket pops. Yeah. Now, nah, yeah, this is a wow. Like, that's hard to can be honest. I probably like three out of every ten of those that I ever bought is going somewhere sexual. Yeah, look at that thing. Like when you go to uh, the the candy store in the mall, we know what's going on. Yeah, nerd rope. You what's happening there? <laughs> Handcuffed gummies in one of those. That's a Tuesday. Smoke a candy cigarette after. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Dude, that looks really fun. I can't believe so. Oh, a, oh, a piece of the. I I don't know why I thought the stick broke off. Nah, just the candy. The yeah, the hard candy of the fucking thing. It was in her. It was in her butt. Mm -hmm. It fell out. Was she taking a when poop? She, maybe? When, when she went to pee, she said, "I think the muscles are in similar places." Man, that butt is so close to the vajayjay. It's like so. It's like close. a townhouse down there. <laughs> yeah, they're sharing a wall. <laughs> it's literally it's like aluminum foil yeah dick and ass is like uh it's like an acre it's like when you'd get an airbnb out in the south and like where's the nearest neighbor he's like ah, about 3.7 miles <laughs> yeah you can shoot a shotgun you maybe. point in between yeah yeah a lot of taint undiscovered land put a jamba juice over there robex i mean honestly cinnabon are we writing comedy right now that's kind of good we're doing <laughs> The townhouse, you could knock on the wrong door easy. Because there's times where you're a dog and you go to put it in the vagina. Uh huh. And she goes, Oh, not that one. You're knocking on the wrong door. Also, you know what's That's the neighbor. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. We have to end it there. Yeah, fantastic. That's it. That's the podcast. That's the fucking, that's it. That was great. Well, I just, were you going for one of these? I'm sorry? Never mind. Oh, no, no. Oh, I thought, I, thought <laughs> I left you hanging. Go. What was it? Guys, is that a podcast? That is a podcast. We did it. We fucking brought it home. Very informational. You learned a lot. We learned a lot. Thank you so much. Tune in every freaking Wednesday. We love you. Keep supporting the pod. Patreon. Go do it. Stiff Socks Plus. Go do it. See Trevor Wallace and Michael Boston on tour. Go do it. We love you. Goodbye.